Hi, I'm Derek Melber, Technical Evangelist for the AD Solutions team here at Manage Engine. In this video, I want to show you how Recovery Manager Plus allows you to analyze, view, and then recover from attribute level changes of objects that occur in Active Directory. Now, within Recovery Manager Plus, of course, we have backups, and the backups allow us to get a view of the current state of Active Directory. Now, the way to look at things that have changed in Active Directory is we go to the Recovery tab, and we can see a listing here of all of the objects that have been changed and the number of times that they have been backed up due to the changes that have occurred. Now, let's say, for example, that we have a user, Mark. Now, Mark, as you see, has had quite a few changes that have occurred. Um, some of them are correct, most of them, but some of them are incorrect. So what we need to do is we need to evaluate the changes that have occurred to Mark to make sure that Mark's current state is correct. Now, what we do is we have a couple of different views of particular objects and their properties. Now, this is considered to be the simple view, and the simple view basically looks at the different modifications that have occurred to Mark over time in a grouping of the backups. So let's say, for example, that we want to go to this particular time and determine what has actually changed for Mark. Notice you'll see two columns. One is a current value and one is a backup value. Here, this allows us to pinpoint what we can actually restore the object back to. I can either do it at the object level and it selects all the attributes, or if I don't want to restore some of the attributes, I don't have to. Now, in addition to our simple view, we also have a comparison view. You can clearly see that the simple view is related to the backups, where our compare view actually looks at the individual attributes that have changed for the object, in this case, a user. So instead of having to try to find the correct value, let's say, of the telephone number, we can actually look at a list of all the telephone numbers that Mark has had. We can pick any one and restore that value back at any time. You can see that it tracks all the different attributes and the changes that have occurred for those attributes for that object. So the simple view and the compare view are very powerful for making sure that you can pinpoint exactly where you want to go back in time. Now, we also have the ability to do more complex types of attributes as well. Now, we're going to look at the finance accounts receivable group. You'll see that there have been some changes in this group. And here, the most important thing I want to show you is we can actually evaluate changes that have occurred for complex attributes such as group membership. So in this particular case, let's say that I have um, some changes that have occurred, but I don't know exactly what occurred. Now, there is a very nice feature which tells you how many objects were added and removed. But if you want to know the details, you simply click on the hyperlink and it pulls up a window for you. And now in the window, you can clearly see based on the date and the time, the groups that were, or the members that were in the group at that time. If you want to know the details that occurred, here you can do the drop down and it will give you the details of what occurred at that particular time. So you'll see here total changes. One was um, added and three removed. And you can do this for any of the entries that are in that particular time frame. So again, here six changes occurred, two were added, and in this case, there were also two added. So this gives you a very clear detail of what's going on. Now, when I click on this and it allows me to view these, I can then determine, well, I'm going to go back to this particular point in time and I'll save the changes and this will be the end result of what I get back in Active Directory. So Recovery Manager Plus does simple views, compare views, and it also allows me to look at very detailed, complex attributes such as group membership. All of this is available in the tool allowing us to view users, groups, 
and all the other objects in Active Directory that have changes so that we can perform recovery on them. This has been Derek Melber. Thanks for watching.